This is a preview of the Kingdom End DLC. The footage you are witnessing is from a pre-release beta version of the game. Your discretion is advised. The Kingdom's End is bustling with life. A perfect sanctuary for the marine life that occupies this system. Ah, the ever-protective ray gingerly gliding through the area, ever vigilant. One of the many larger creatures seen protecting the smaller creatures who call this home. The ecosystem here is ever evolving. Iroquel is seen grazing the asteroid fields, while a pod of Hydro and Marco scurry about the day. Here we see too Rogual in the dance of love. Listen as the two call out to one another. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. Me love you long time. Me love you a long time. So just 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 a disclaimer, there are gonna be light spoilers for Kingdom and DLC ahead. So you've been warned. Also, I'm going to be trying to keep those spoilers to a minimum, um, but just minor stuff might slip through here and there. Um, and this is going to also be a rambling video, so I apologize in advance for it not being my typical style. But I figured you would want to know, and I've got some juicy details to share. So I was able to get my hands on a early version of the Kingdom and DLC, graciously provided by Egosoft. And all I can say is I'm I'm pretty blown away. I was able to play a good majority of the story, which I'm again I'm not going to spoil because it's it's actually really good. It's 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 awesome. It's well written, and it's it has a lot of lore. I I'm not going to say much more, but it it's it's really well created, and and also um it gives you uh, this DLC gives you a few new game starts. Um, which allow you to actually play as the Boron, which is <laughs> which is great because they're freaking cute and like just look at them. They they fly around in their little hover egg. It's uh, I just love it. The DLC adds four new systems to the game, consisting of a bustling Boron economy and unique Boron goods. Um, some of those goods obviously are the new Boron ships. The ships are masterfully designed. Each ship is a work of art inside and out. When you are not dumbfounded and just frozen in place staring at these ships and their architecture you can actually hang out on the brig <laughs> on a boron ship which is I, I think always kind of funny and or the uh, the crew quarters although um, I'm not entirely sure what the boron are going to be doing with chairs and water bottles that's uh, that kind of beyond me uh, I, maybe they're gonna have they're expecting company we'll go with that the DLC also adds 20 new ships. Um, they're the Barracuda Heavy Fighter, the Dolphin Transporter, the Sturgeon Transporter, Grouper Light Miner, uh, the Guppy Light Carrier, which is my favorite addition thus far because it's a light carrier, so it doesn't carry as much, but it's more mobile, it's quick, and it just adds a ton of possibilities to the game and like combat. I'm really excited to uh, dive in and play with the Guppy Light Carrier. There's the Hydra Corvette, Hydra Regal Corvette, the Arukandigi, the Ar Arukandigi, I'm just having a stroke here, Scout, uh, the Malco Fighter, Orca Auxiliary, Piranha Scout, the Porpoise, with their liquid and solid variants, Ray Destroyer, the Requal with their liquid, gas, or mineral, um, their heavy miners, uh, they're, they're the ones with the, the, the kissy mouths, mm, mm, very nice. The Shark Heavy Carrier, which is just such a cool looking ship. Then the Terrapin Courier, Thresher Gunboat, and the Walrus Builder. 
and they did a really good job with all these ship designs. I really don't have any qualms with any of them. I think they all look great. I love the design. I love the color schemes. Um, I am just really excited to see these ships flying around the X4 universe. Outside of the ships, Kingdom N also comes with a wide variety of unique and awesome weapons. A nice new arsenal is coming to the game. If I'm smart, I would have screenshot this and put it up on there, but I'm going to read pretty much exactly what they sent us um, with this early beta for the DLC. For the small weapons, um, you can have a phase gun or phase turret. Essentially, they're just guns with additional damage when shield is down, which is cool. There's Ion Gatling, which is a chain gun-like weapon with more anti-shield damage. Uh, with its unique features, it slows down ships and it's more effective versus small ships. Um, on impact, the weapon decreases speed for a short time. Um, the effect is mostly noticeable against small ships, uh, less so obviously on medium or capital ships. Uh, there are arc guns or arc turrets. They're short-ranged weapons with fast projectiles that make ships' maneuverability worse, more effective again against small ships. Um, there, with medium weapons, uh, we have again the uh, a, uh, more pulse. Well, excuse me. We have a pulse turret again and a pulse rail gun, which is high velocity, high hitting weapon. Phase cannon um, again, it's a good against shields, and a ion atomizer, which is a slow firing weapon, slightly inaccurate with a proximity detonation with additional anti shield damage. Slopes down ships, more effective against small and medium ships. Again, we're in the medium range right now, and it has a proximity detonation of areage damage, uh, which is really cool. For the large guns, rayon projectile, it's a charging beam weapon, which is used as a main gun for a destroyer, uh, using new mechanics for charging. So you charge it up and you can shoot it. It's really good against shields. So it slows down ships as well, and it's even good at slowing down capital ships, which is... That's going to be interesting. If you're trying to pirate, I think this is a real good route to go. It's going to be adding a lot of possibilities to ripping shields down and jumping on and boarding ships. So it'd be interesting to see a mixed fleet of like boron weapons or these ion weapons and, you know, uh, see what these kind of mixtures are to knock out engines and just kind of keep these ships from fleeing. But maybe now you don't even have to knock out engines because you just slow them down. Boarding pods don't have an issue catching up um there is a large ion net launcher turret um it's first it's a first disruptor weapon in the game um that's not a missile so not every power uh, it's so excuse me not it's so it's not very powerful but disrupts enemy ships in some areas uh it does mostly anti-shield damage uh it makes ships maneuverability worse disables boost and travel uh drive for some time proximity de uh, detonation and does area damage again all I can think about is pirating. <laughs> I guess it also would be really good to keep in some of these ships when you're in these big battles from fleeing and run away so that we don't have to deal with them later. That's also a good possibility. There's the ion uh, flak turret, the flak turret with proximity detonation with area of effect with small detonation anti shield damage. So again, slows down ships are effective versus small ships, proximity detonations, and area damage. So it's just the flak turret with ion. Um, options which <coughs> excuse me is really exciting because it's gonna be slowing down those small ships and possibly making easier targets for what other weapons you might have thrown on your vessel then there's the phase turret more standard pulse like turret higher damage when shields are down so there's a theme going down with the boron weapons very good at sh ripping down shields slowing ships down and causing them to not be able to maneuver so again, this kind of matches up with also Boron Lore, where they're not so much looking for that hard-hitting weapon. They're trying to just tear down the, the shields. They're trying to make it so they can't um, uh, flee or they can't maneuver. Um, just very, don't get me wrong, very dangerous weapons. And that doesn't mean that they're to be laughed at, but they're l not as lethal as some of the other ones in the game. But there's definitely a place in this uh, X4 for this, so I'm really excited to see where they take this. I'm so happy to have the Boron finally coming to X4. 
They are adorable, and I really, you know, I actually encourage you guys to listen to their conversations when they're interacting with each other, especially like uh, incidents like police scans or docking. It's kind of, they're just cool. They're cute. I love their dialogue. It's, it's unique. It's different. It's something that I'm not used to hearing in X4, and I love it. The story is rich. It's well written. The design is on point, and overall, I'm just impressed. So thank you for watching, and thank you, Eaglesoft, for letting me again play. Stay safe, everybody. Stay healthy and love one another. Peace. A truly amazing sight to behold. A thresher can be seen feeding off of a nearby ray, seeking for scraps left behind from the ray's most recent hunt. The majestic shark, the true pride of kingdom end, a king amongst the system in a spectacular sight to behold, regal and beautiful, yet sharp and piercing, a show of its might and majesty. The majestic shark is rarely alone. Many smaller creatures are seen hiding amongst the shark's hardened carapace. A symbiotic relationship as both the shark and these creatures benefit from this relationship. Here we see a migrating shark brimming with a pack of barracudas. Little does the shark know that it has caught the unwanted attention of a nearby pack of predators. A pack of hungry Xenon fighters have begun stalking the shark. The Xenon, lacking the proper stealth to sneak up on the shark, find themselves alerting the shark to their approach. The shark, being a mostly docile and peaceful creature, turns towards the Xenon. The Barracudas Wishing to preserve their home, exit the shark and engage the Xenon in vicious combat. Needless to say, the Xenon will be going hungry another day. With the threat gone, the shark may now continue its migration to the safer waters of Kingdom End. A solitary dolphin soars, the ever triumphant workhorse, carrying supplies between systems, the lifeblood of Kingdom's End. Each creature a moving piece in a beautiful puzzle that makes up the ecosystem of such a captivating area. Oh man, we really got in there for that kissing. Did I just give birth out of my mouth? Two, I have two babies. That was so fast. <laughs> just kissing and babies are what? What is that? Is that really what is this? What on earth? Come here, come here, my my dear new child of my. Where are you going? Don't leave me, baby. Come, baby, Jerry. J our baby's running away, Jerry. <laughs> what the heck is this, baby? Come. <laughs> what is that thing? Well, we have a run. All right. Well, I don't. Okay. I'm done. It's too much. It's I'm done.